Hey there, Southolds. It's good to be back. I'm Stephen Russell. And I'm not. You're watching Soho TV. For our first package, we'd like to take you far across the sea. All the way to Shelter Island? No, you silly boy. Much further. Plum Island. Australia! Mrs. Berberick has come up with a way that we here in Southold can help animals that have been devastated by the ongoing fires. Take a look. You've heard about the wildfires in Australia. You want to know how to help? Here's a package about how to. Australia has been devastated by wildfires, but you can crochet during homeroom to help some of the affected animals. Alright, I'm here with Miss Burbick. So, what is the crocheting for? It's for the animals that are displaced in Australia that are affected by the bushfires. So, we're um, crocheting them little nests for little birds. We're crocheting little joey pouches. This one is courtesy of Juliet Ran. Um, so, any little thing that's a comfort item for these guys that are displaced or burned or injured, anything like that. Awesome, thank you. To help these animals, you can also donate. The International Fund for Animal Welfare has a website where you can donate money to help with protection and rehabilitation for animals that lost their homes in the Australian wildfires. You can either select one of their options that they have right here, or you can put your own amount in. Next, put in your personal information like your credit and PayPal info. You can also click the update button so you know where your donation has helped. Alright, you guys heard it. Back to you in the studio. It breaks my heart seeing all those animals without a home. We're lucky to have our homes here intact in Southold, but some of our school possessions have not been so lucky. Ah, you're talking about the lost and found. Spot on. Naomi and Emma dove into those boxes to see what's been left behind. See if you recognize anything you've lost lately. Hey Southold's Emma Detour. Have you ever wondered what's in our school's lost and found? Here's an inside look at all the cool stuff we can find in there. South Hole's Lost and Found is a gold mine full of other people's misplaced things. Here's what we found. Things to fix your hair. Water bottles to stay hydrated. Lots of sports equipment. Bags hold your stuff. Books to take notes. Hats and jackets to keep warm. Things to keep you entertained. Pants. And even some snacks if you get hungry. It's been Emma Detour reporting for Soho TV. But seriously, these lost and found bins are really full. So if you're missing something, come down here and check. Now I know where my missing water bottle went. Talking about water. Let's take a look at part two of Jackson's video about stunned turtles. Fantastic. I just love seeing those hard-shelled, magnificent reptiles being brought back to life. Roll it. I'm here at the Long Island Aquarium to follow up on our turtle story. Could you tell me a little bit more about what happens when a turtle is freeze-stunned? Um, so when we have cold stunned sea turtles come in, um, it is because their body temperature is getting too cold. Um, their body starts to slow down and they're not able to move their flippers and uh, their body function decreases and they'll just kind of float along the surface of the water until they wash up on a shore. Are cold stunned turtles on the rise? Um, this year we've responded to almost 80 turtles already, um, where last year it was only in the 40s and previous years were only in the 20s. Um, so we are definitely seeing an increase in cold stunned sea turtles. When someone calls you to investigate a cold stunned turtle, what happens next? Um, so when we get the call, the first thing we want to know is exactly where they are. Um, we'll, our team will start to get ready. They'll put all of the necessary materials into a box, um, and then they will head out and go get the turtle. Could we take a look back there and see some turtles? Absolutely. So where are we? So right now we are in our treatment room. Uh, this is the first room that any animals see when they come in. 
Um, it is also the coldest room in our facility. Uh, the reason for that is because when we have cold stun sea turtles come in, we don't want to warm them up too quickly. Who's this guy? Uh, this is number 52. Don't quite think he has a name yet, but he was actually found by a group of Boy Scouts just about two and a half weeks ago from one of the uh, inlets nearby. So he's doing really well. He's about to have a physical, take some measurements, take some weight, do some blood work, and make sure he is all healthy. <laughs> so, what happened? You guys work so hard for these turtles. How can we volunteer? So you can volunteer. Um, we have orientations twice a year. Our next orientation will be in March. Um, so you would sign up and fill out a volunteer profile through our website. This has been Jackson Vlasic from SoTV. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jackson. Have you heard about Juliet Rand? Is it about her incredible voice, or organ playing, or acting, or dancing, or her language skills? All of the above. Juliet has been chosen to study abroad in France this summer. Gabby sat down with her to find out more about this multi-talented student. Hi, I'm Gabby with Soho TV, and today I thought it would be fun to get the inside scoop on Juliet Rand's opera career. So Juliet, how did you first get involved with opera? In fifth grade, when my grandparents took me to a local vineyard, and there were opera singers doing a little concert, I just thought, that's what I'm going to do someday. And I asked one of the female singers what I should do to, you know, start pursuing opera. She's like, start taking piano lessons. So I started taking piano lessons. Wow, and at what age did you start taking, like, opera lessons? Thir 13 years old, so it's like seventh grade. And where do you take opera lessons? I first started at the Opera House in Southhold, but now I take lessons in Huntington with a wonderful woman. Her name is Mrs. Tibbetts. She's amazing. What normally goes on on a lesson? To start a lesson, we start with warm-ups. I'll do the song that she just signed me. So I have one in French, Italian, German, and English. Juliet, what are your future plans with opera? I would love to go to a music conservatory for college and just solely study opera and like music theory and then eventually just have a career constantly singing and performing. Juliet, thank you so much for being here with us today and talking about your opera career. Thank you for listening. She has some voice, which reminds me of a joke. Why do cats like to sing? Not sure, but I have a feeling I'm going to find out. Because they're very meowsical. Get it? I can feel our ratings going down by the minute. On a more serious note, our school is hosting an Adopt-a-Platoon drive. Watch this next package to find out how you can contribute. The Adopt-a-Platoon drive is a collection of essential and non-essential items for our servicemen and service women that are overseas um, stationed in the Middle East. Uh, we collect those items and them to an agency who then sends them to a specific platoon. So this drive is a joint effort between the Interact Club and the Students Against Destructive Decisions, the SAD Club. Um, together, uh, Ms. Selmaggi, myself, and Ms. Gilmore are helping to get these items collected. So some of the items we are collecting are um, food items that are prepackaged, such as um, granola bars, hot and cold cereals, energy bars, um, ramen noodles, cup of noodle soups. Um, we are also looking for toiletries such as soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, toothbrushes. Um, they also like to have recreational items, so uh, pens, pencils, stationery, um, puzzles, crossword puzzles, um, anything, uh, paper, pencil type of activities. Um, also other types of toiletries like tissues, um, powder, believe it or not, toilet paper, things like those types of items that are a little difficult to get when they're overseas. So all of these items can be brought to your homeroom teacher. Um, we are collecting through February 2nd and the homeroom that collects the most items will win a pizza party. Well, that's our show this week. This has been Stephen Russell and Isaiah Mraz. Have a great weekend.
New Meow Mix from Purina. The cat food with three separate flavors in one package. Three flavors.